Okay, so this is um, how we use the kinetic energy formula. Kinetic energy formula, um, in some lessons we've called it speed energy, um, but really its proper name is um, kinetic energy. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. We've got half, and we've got the mass, that's uh, always measured in kilograms, and the velocity there. Um, v stands for velocity, velocity. Um, sometimes we just lazily call it speed, but we should call it velocity. Um, this is um, speed in a single direction. Um, so in the little photo on the left, we've got the same bolt. He's going down 100 meters in that direction, but his speed and velocity will sort of call them the same thing. Um, just earlier on, I sort of got this picture, um, and that's when it was ran, it was a world record. And basically just worked out the speed there. Um, we're going to need that in this calculation. So we've got 100 meters uh, divided by uh, the time down here, 9.68 seconds. And uh, oops, 100 divided by 9.68. Okay, uh, so that gives me speed of 10.3. We'll call that 10.3. Okay, and that's basically going to be the um, speed that we use. Um, in this particular formula. So, what is uh, Ursain Bolt's kinetic energy? Well, dead simple. So, all we have to do is to uh, follow the recipe. Okay, kinetic energy is one half times um, Ursain's mass. Now, this is from Wikipedia, I don't know how they know this. Uh, we'll just call that. 93.9 and uh, then we're going to take the uh, the velocity and we're going to take the 10.3 meters per second uh, but we're going to square that and it's really important to stress this you have to square this okay you can't times half by 93.9 times it by 10.3 and then square everything you get a completely different result so let's just go through that we've got uh, let's get our calculator back let's uh, Okay, that we got half um, 0.5 uh, times 93.9. That's the mass uh, multiplied by. Okay, and now we're going to take 10.3. Okay, and we're going to square that. Okay, and then we're going to see what all that equals. So our kinetic energy equals. If we can just bring that back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 4980.9 uh, so we'll call that 4981 4981 uh, joules and there you go that's how we use the kinetic energy the key thing for you always square this velocity first don't do it after you've done everything else and then think that squaring the answer in your calculator makes it look like the answer it won't be